having a good, good time. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel oh my gosh we are gonna be chatting about so many topics y'all give me so many topics to talk about on instagram and i'm not even gonna get to all of them in this video but we will have more of these coming but y'all know i'm always here for the luxury vibes the luxury experiences like it's most definitely gonna be luxury for us to make a moscow mule while talking it's giving happy hour like we're at happy hour this is a very 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 easy cocktail for the people that want to make this as well let me tell y'all what y'all need so this is ice limes you're gonna need some lime this is vodka and this is just like the ounces so vodka and then ginger beer this does not have alcohol in it it's like root beer like ginger beer root beer and then that's really it you can use mint all recipes don't have mint from what i have seen this particular recipe that i'm using has mint but yeah i don't have mint so we're not doing mint today so this is so hard to open because it's insulated so yeah so okay we're just gonna start by putting the ice I want it to be really cold, so I'm gonna put a lot of ice, but then my ice is so huge. Like, look how big this ice is. I'm probably only gonna be able to fit like three. Okay, so the first question, you guys, was songs that get you hyped up. Honestly, anything Jay Z, Beyonce, Kanye, Jersey. Okay, question two is would I change anything about myself or my life right now? I'm so, people do not know this about me. I am so high strung like everything has to be perfect everything has to be everything I don't like to be confused I like to be in control of lots of situations like I just when I feel out of control I just literally shut down and I get all over the place my Enneagram number is eight which that is all it is but it's so aggravating because I shut down and I can't speak like it's that bad I would like to calm that down a little bit but at the same time that's one of my favorite personality traits about myself because honestly when I do stuff like YouTube and all of these things like that it like a, my worth be to a certain level of excellence because I'm so nitpicky and I'm so hard on myself and I'm so controlling of like I, so it's a gift and a curse but if I had to pick something I would say just calm down a little like you got the chill for real. This is my little recipe card. Okay, so next we should squeeze the lime in there. And then they say drop the lime like rind, but I don't know if I wanted that limey. I might find like a small lime and put it in there, put the whole lime in there. We're gonna squeeze. I like lime, but I don't want it to take over. Okay, so I'm gonna put this little bitty piece of lime down there. Did I have any fears starting my channel? Honestly, 100% I did not. I started my channel when I was like in 11th grade. And I feel like a lot of people talk about how do you like not want people to talk about you. I don't know. I just always really honestly felt like I was different. So like, I don't know. I really didn't have any fears. I honestly feel like that was my personality slash like reputation. Like I feel like I was just known to be like doing a little bit different stuff. So I feel like that was really expected from me. Honestly, like I had, I was selling glasses in the 10th grade. I feel like starting a YouTube channel was very expected expected from me so I really was not fearful but honestly I'm not really like when it comes down to like doing things that I want to do is never fear I feel like if you have fear just know that first of all people gonna talk anyway so you might as well do what you want to do and let them talk it makes no sense to do what you feel like they want you to do and then they talk like that's no do what you want to do be who you want to be if everybody in the world is the same thing it would be a very boring world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Always strive to be different and stand out. Don't be a stand in, be a stand out. Always. And then somebody basically asked overcoming fear, procrastination for starting your channel. By me starting my channel so young, I didn't really, like I was kind of oblivious. So I just, I just filmed. Like I was like, oh, I want to do a YouTube video. I'm going to do a YouTube video this weekend. And I just filmed. Like it was no thought about it. I just did it. So I feel like that was a good thing. But I did stop for a long period of time. And I started back really in like 2019. August 2019 is when I started again. I'm not really a procrastinator. I don't know. When it comes down to things that I know for a fact. This is what I want to do. I do it. Because it's absolutely no reason for me to not. I'm really a all or none type of person. If I know for a fact I want to do something. 
I like to do something, I enjoy doing something, I'm all in. If it's something that I do not want to do, I'm all out. And I'm still working on that because sometimes in life you have to do things that you don't want to do. And I am anti-do things that I don't want to do. Like, of course, not extreme things, but like, you know, some things that you might be like, I really don't want to do this, but I know this will be helpful for somebody or whatever. I'm still working on that part of me because if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to. For people who just like, oh, I want to start my channel, but I'm just keep procrastinating on, do it. Figure out why you're procrastinating. If it's fear or uh, scared of what people going to say, I always ask who is people? And if you say, oh, my friends, or if they talking, they ain't your friends. If you say my family, okay, your family is just not your audience. Next. If they say, oh, people I went to high school, not your audience. Next. Who cares about people who went to high school with what they got to say about anything? Like, I just, I, I just don't let, again, back to my Enneagram, I can't let somebody else control my life. So, I'm never going to not do something off the fear of what other people say because, I am a control freak. Uh, uh, Enneagram 8 is a control freak and I just not about to let nobody else control my life with words about me. And people, like I say, people gonna talk anyway and they gonna talk in the beginning because maybe they think you look stupid or whatever the case may be. Oh, but run the millions in. Run them, run them millions of views in and you look like you popping, guess what their biggest flex gonna be? Oh, I went to school with her. Oh, I used to be with her. Oh, I knew her. Oh, she, I grew up with her. All that, they gonna be saying all that to everyone. Now, if you procrastinate because you don't know what to do you're never gonna know what you what to do until you do it like you know what i'm saying a baby is crawling they're not gonna know how to walk until they start walking so just do it like that's really the type of person i am it makes no sense for me to keep crawling talking about i want to walk i want to walk girl get up i feel like those was the only two like really long questions all right let's do the next ingredient first which is i think to pour the vodka yeah so we need two ounces of vodka, which I'm debating on if I want to put two ounces, but I think I should. I'm going to just put it just because that's what the recipe say. But if I was making this like not for a video, I would sh for sure put a half ounce of vodka. It really should be the rest of this bottle. Oh no, I only got one ounce left. So we only got one ounce today, but it, this recipe calls for two ounces. Would you ever move to another state? Honestly, it's not really a goal for me at the moment, but I'm not opposed to move on. I can see myself moving in the future or not really. Question number six is favorite home decor items. 100% kitchenware. Kitchenware is the, the, the thing that's like the most affordable, but can make you feel like you have the most luxury living daily. Like for instance, this ice cooler, this was $12 at Home Goods. But imagine like when you're making cocktails or you're making drinks and you're getting your ice out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's very vibrant. So I would have to say kitchen like if you're trying to invest in yourself to make yourself feel like you have a luxury lifestyle every day I feel like the first thing you should get is kitchen get glassware like make yourself a Moscow mule in a Moscow mule glass make yourself a pizza on a piece of tree like I'm I will always see kitchen ginger beer and then we're done really so this is six ounces of ginger beer if I'm not mistaken yeah six ounces of ginger beer if you don't like ginger beer, it's basically like ginger ale. Like ginger ale is like Sprite. Ginger beer is like root beer. But it's a very strong, like spicy taste. It's not sweet at all. So I don't know if a lot of people like it, but I love it. So this is the ginger beer that I'm using. We're just gonna go six ounces with this. I feel like I'm about to love this drink. That's one. Six ounces of ginger beer. Okay, show slash movie recommendations. 100% the bold type, Devil West Prada, Emily in Paris, Love Island. I don't really watch like intense shows. I just can't do it, honestly. I really like fashion type of shows. So the bold type, they work in a magazine companies. It's three girls living in their 20s in New York City. Who wouldn't want to watch shit? And they have some intense topics. That's why I stopped watching it. Because the girl is a journalist. So basically, she's writing about these things. But I'm definitely about to start watching it again. So I 100% recommend the bold type. Devil Wears Prada, another fashion movie. I'm sure a lot of you know about the Devil Wears Prada. It's a very iconic movie. But if you don't, it's with Anne Hathaway. Love Anne Hathaway. The Love Island. I feel like Love Island is just great for just casual shows. It's just super casual. And Emily in Paris is basically like the bull type. And... Devil Wears Prada and the new season come out December 22nd. So December 22nd, don't talk to me, don't text me, don't call me. Thank you. I'm glad we have a great understanding on that now. Okay, 
Question number eight, best childhood memory. Honestly, our family trip to Destin. Honestly, that would have to be one of my best childhood memories, but honestly, anything that's dealing with elementary school, I wish I would have really understood how great of an elementary school I went to at the time, but I didn't. But we did so much fun stuff and different stuff. Like we really used to walk to the snowball stand on Magazine Street. Like I went to a bomb elementary school. So I would say a lot of my elementary school memories, I wish I would have like enjoyed the moment then, but I mean, I was a kid. Let's mix this. I got my cocktail stir because I do not want this ginger beer to get flat. And the only thing left to do is to put mint and put a lime. And I don't have the mint, like I said. So we're just going to put the lime and we're done. I like when you can see the ice at the top. It's so cold. Can y'all see how cute this is? Let's taste it. Oops, it literally tastes like ginger beer. I don't taste any alcohol. Oh, that good alcohol. Oh, this is so good. Are you dumb? Wow, I can't drink all this. I have to let my mama taste it. Even the lime, oh yes. Oh, I can drink that entire drink. It's ideal first date. Honestly, I really don't know. Because at first I was like, uh, let's get cute. Let's get real cute and fancy and let's go out to eat. But at the same time, I feel like you're going to be putting on and you're going to be like stiff and relax. Something fun like amusement park because I'm very scary. I feel like it would just be so much easier to, I don't know, I feel like it would be so much easier to get to know each other if we just like lit. Honestly, if I really had to pick an ideal first date, which I know this sounds stupid, but I really would like it to be like, they friends, my friends, and we at an amusement park. That sounds very childish of me to say, but I'm only 21. I mean, what can I say? 10, would you kiss on a first date? Not happening. Sorry. Not. Even if I really, 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 really won't kiss you? It's a no for me, dog. I'm not kissing you on the first date. Question 11, how do you feel about double texting? Honestly, I double text, but it depends. Oh my, this is good. Um, double texting. I don't know. I, I don't want to say I'm, I would do it. I would do it if we like to that stage and we comfortable. But at the same time, I don't know because hopefully I'm busy enough so I don't have to double text you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do what I got to do for work. I'm working. We talking in the morning. We do a little check-in. You working. You busy. And then we can check in at night, like, you know, later in the day. I don't know. I feel like when we double texting, somebody got to do something. Somebody got to have. What's the hobbies? I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I might. It depends. Like, let's say I text, like, oh, what you doing? And maybe let's say they working or something like that. And I see someone on Instagram, and I'm like, man, go see what I sent you on Instagram when you get back to your phone. Something like that, but not like, what you doing? Then my next one is, what you doing? Oh, why you texting back? Not happening. Sorry. I'm not checking for you like that. Okay, how do you... Oh, I said that one. Question 12 is, favorite zodiac signs? I'm going to say... I always say cancers. Cancers are my favorite zodiac sign. They're just so easy going. But like I am always the best of friends with a Scorpio. Well, yeah, water signs because cancers and Scorpios are my favorite. Dream job. Dream job. Why does this keep doing this? Dream job. Honestly, I'm going to say anything around the camera. I will model YouTube. I'm going to always do YouTube, but I will model. I will do YouTube. I will do acting. I don't know. Anything that's just around the camera. Anything that's dealing with like creative direction and then i own my own businesses and the businesses that i'm oh i can't wait businesses that are pure projects like these businesses do not have to make me a dollar of course they will make me a dollar but my life does not depend on the dollars from that business it's straight projects only kind of businesses i want to open being in the fashion world being in the home decor world being in the lifestyle realm of things me by a camera fave hobby i love listening to podcasts i love playing the outfits with sierra we do that all the time just send each other outfits where we wear this too and then watching youtube of course my favorite podcast right now is probably the sunday scaries it's really like more of a storytelling podcast like it sounds like he's reading so i don't really like that delivery but i don't know it's just an easygoing chill podcast and i think that's the goal of the podcast if i'm not mistaken like the sunday scaries is just like it's not to be motivated it's not to be taught anything it's not to be inspired by anything it's just chat anything that's just a vibe and experience i love doing i can sit here and make cocktails all day i'll have a blast with music on i'll go in my room and watch architectural architectural digest 
yes i'll have a blast i could watch each tv i'll have a blast and the last question of the video says item in my wardrobe right now atm at this moment for sure my ugg mini 2 those things on uggs i will wear them uggs in 100 degrees at this point i love them you guys if you have gotten this far in the video and you're over 21 go make that kind of sale so good but let me disclaimer it's not sweet at all zero sweetness it's absolutely not even close to being sweet 100 sour bitter sour bitter spice so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram check the description i have links in the description for every video to my gift guide and my instagram and cheers you guys for staying this long if you stay this long you're a real one trust me comment on my videos comment on me on instagram dm me i'm watching because as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers my giveaway is going out and my giveaway is so good oh my goodness this my giveaway is very alexis of me so give me to a thousand subscribers tell your friend bring a friend comment show the love because i'm watching because i'm not picking a random person i'm picking somebody who show mad love okay real love dude not just like great video like no tell me tell me tell me how far you done got in the video okay and on instagram and everything so i'm see y'all in my next one bye guys